Thousands of migrants are headed to the U.S.-Mexico border, and one migrant who's already right here in El Paso told our ABC7 Saul Signs that she was traveling with a group of, get this, 12,000 others. Saul joins us live from the Sacred Heart Church, where some border crossers are arriving, and as more on what the city is doing in preparation for that large number of migrants headed our way. Saul. Hey, Paul, in the two hours that I've been here, the numbers have fluctuated right now. It's a little dark, so it's kind of hard to see just how many people, how many migrants are behind me. But as you just said, I spoke with a woman who traveled with a group. That group was 12,000 strong, but even more startling is that the group behind her, she says, is even bigger, and it's coming to the U.S.-Mexico border. This is the large group of migrants who left Tapachula in southern Mexico. The sheer size is staggering and is raising concerns right here in the borderland. There is going to be concern, of course, but we won't know what or where the caravan exactly is going to land. So it's really anybody's guess. And this is video shared with ABC7 from members of NGOs or non-governmental organizations who provide services to migrants arriving to our borders. It shows migrants walking along a road just outside of Ciudad Juarez Cruz says city and county officials hold frequent briefings from local, state, and federal agencies to determine what immediate needs are concerning what the migrant population is now and what the population may look like in the days to come. Are you all being updated by people in Mexico as well who are seeing that caravan moving? Sure, we have communication with our international partners as well, and so we continue to have those conversations in order to, what is it that they need? What is it that we need? Um, what, do we, what, what kind of numbers are we seeing? So they don't know exactly just how many folks are headed to the U.S. border. They know there are thousands of them. But officials do remind me that it's not just El Paso that they're coming to. They may be going to Eagle Pass. They may be going to Arizona. But neither, either way, the city and county, they are bracing for large numbers of people headed this way. You may recall that we reported last week that Moorhead Middle School opened up as a shelter. Reporting live at Sacred Heart, Saul Signs, ABC7.